what's up and good afternoon guys welcome back to another video today i got a good one for y'all um <clears throat> got a little bit of a kit here i don't know if y'all can see it um so what i've done is i got a new uh pack and i've been trying it out and i'm really 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 liking it so today i want to give you a little bit of a rundown of this new pack that i'm wearing and uh Hope y'all like it. Anyway, uh, let me go ahead and get y'all off of the gimbal and put y'all on my tripod so that way I can open this pack up and kind of show y'all what it's about. This pack here is uh, made by Marting Top, and we'll get a little further into that here in just a minute. So, anyway, guys, stick around. We'll be right back right after this. Okay, real quick, guys, before we get started in this video. I've been looking at my analytics and I noticed about 96 to 97 percent of you aren't subscribed. So what I'd like you to do, take a few seconds, scroll down just a little bit and hit that little subscribe button right there and then the little bell notification icon and set that to all notifications for me. Then after that, if you will, hit the little like button and then hit the share button and share this video out with everybody that you know. Share it out with your friends, your family and anybody else trying to build this channel we're trying to make it a great channel for everybody to enjoy so if you will just take a few seconds and do that for me and i appreciate it it really helps the channel out and uh by hitting that like and subscribe button and then getting the notifications set you get to see any time that i got a new video that drops and comes out so if you will just take a few seconds and do that for me and i appreciate it thanks guys now on to the video okay welcome back everybody we're back so what I want to do is I want to introduce y'all to my new pack. This is the pack made by Marting Top. It is a 75 liter uh, backpack that fully opens like a clamshell but also has the um, top open where you can pull, unzip the top and open it from the top as well. Um, what I've done is I've taken and added an extra pack to it here on the front that carries my medical equipment, it carries some extra food, it carries my, uh, my medication, my EpiPens and stuff like that. So all that will be in this front pack right here on top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take that off because it just buckles onto the molly that's on here. that off of here real quick there we go get that out of the way all right now this is the Martin top 75 liter backpack and I don't have it completely fully loaded, but I do have um, a lot of stuff loaded into it right now. Uh, you got this big old giant huge pack here on the outside. You got a little bit smaller pack up here on top. And then the very top has a zipper pouch up here on the top that you can put your, your, um, your gloves, your, um, your beanies, sunshades, whatever you want to do. And that's on this zipper on the top up here on the top. So you just unzip this one here, and it uh, allows you to get into whatever you put in that top pocket. Currently, I have my Kelty um, Air Up sleeping pad, self-inflates, so that's part of my sleep system. So I'll take that off of here. All right, so let's get that up out of the way. All right. So now you can see you got the pack and this is like I said this is the 75 liter spin it around here and see the back so it comes with the, uh, the straps that are adjustable so you got a um, large frame medium frame and small frame person so you can take this um, the shoulder straps you can move them up and down they're adjustable so you can like 
pull them, if the backpack is leaning back too far, you grab the strap here, you pull it, and it pulls the pack up to your, your back a little bit further, so that way um, you don't have so much of the weight just kind of like pulling you backwards. It Basically, it balances the weight, which is nice. Then, I also got a new bushcraft knife. Uh, this is made by Survival Dispatch. And it just hooks. Right there. And it is attached to the back using one of the Molly straps that holds it in place. Um, what I'll do is I'll put some links down in the description for this. And anything else that y'all uh, might want down in the uh, description of all the stuff that I've got currently on the backpack. So, let me go ahead and open this up. Show y'all. Currently, I've got some gloves. Let's see, I've got some extra socks. Uh, I got a beanie or a toque, as y'all like to call it. Got a hunting toque with the orange on the inside and the camo on the outside. I've got some extra rope or uh, paracords, but. 50 foot of a uh, paracord. Got a knife that my brother made for me. Got my Sawyer mini water filter. And my belt knife. Okay, so all that's in that top pocket up here. And like I said, I'll throw descriptions in the, uh, I'll throw links in the description box for you guys. So if you want to purchase anything, y'all can. Now, scoot this back a little bit, maybe y'all can see this. Down here on the, the waist belt, you got these, <coughs> you got these two little pockets. Um, they do unzip, and you can put anything you want down in these. Currently, I don't have anything here. Now the cool thing about the one here on the right is when you unzip this one, if you have a water bottle or like a Nalgene or something like that, that bottle will fit down in here. All you do is you unzip both ends of it. And this little pocket folds out here where you can put your Nalgene bottle in. It's got a little round spot for like a bottle that can sit right here. And it completely fits in this pocket with no issues. Now, on the side of the pack, you got these two really massively deep pockets here on the side that go from the top all the way to the very bottom. And the only thing I have in this one here is some really long zip ties that you can undo have a little mechanism on them that you can undo them. Same thing on this side here. You got the, the big long pocket that goes all the way from the top to the bottom. And I don't think I have anything in this one. So anyway. And then on either side it's got a pocket for your water bottle. And I've got my water bottle and my filter here for um, I believe these are the uh, life straw. As you can see, I've got a filter in this one here, and it just uh, clips to the side of the pack using the molly. There we go. Same thing over here on this side. I've got the Life Straw water bottle clipped in. And then I also have my ferro rod on the outside where it's easily accessible. I can get to it very quickly, start me a fire or whatever, and it just sits down inside that pocket right there. All right, now, for the front, it has a little spot for some Velcro here on the front. And I put me a little Velcro um, patch flag on the front with the skull and the American flag. A 
And then I've got some night ties carabiners attached to the, the front right here. We'll go ahead and unzip this. And as you can see, I've got all kind of stuff in here. I've got a life straw, a couple of flashlights. I've got my uh, flint and steel. I have camera stuff in here. So that's all that's in this pocket here. All right, next pocket up top is all of my like first aid stuff. It's got um, mosquito bug net. I've got a bandana. I've got some sewing kit. I've got a first aid kit, like a small boo-boo kit. I've got some bug spray. And then I've also got the little iodide tablets for putting in your water to um, like to cleanse your water and stuff like that. So those are all in here as well. So that's it for what's in the top pocket. Now, like I said, the uh, the whole pack has uh, like a clamshell design to it. So I'll show you that now. Do is just unzip the whole thing, and then this whole thing folds open just like that. stuff off. Not good. Get this up out of the way actually. Sorry about that guys. Alright, now like I said this has the clamshell design to it. it. Comes with the Molly on the inside. It also has a zipper pocket here which I have uh, an extra ferro rod, I've got a water bottle, I've got um, matches that are the, the strike matches that you can, uh, won't go out. I've got the water filter cleaner for the um, Sawyer mini filter here, extra paracord, got all that in that little pocket there, my bench made bug out, uh, my knife there, extra pair of wool socks. Got my bushcraft grill, which fits perfectly in the back of the backpack. Has a little pocket in here. Got my hammock. Got my under quilt. And my shemog in here. That's all I've got in here for right now. Now, like I said, I will put links in here for you guys. Let me tighten that back up. Okay, then I've got my folding saw, which is also in here. Okay, and yep, that's it. That's all that's in here. Okay, so. Move this. I'll set it right there for right now. Set it there for right now. All right, I'll take a tripod here. Kind of show y'all the inside of this. So as you can see, you got this big deep pocket right here underneath the shemog. Got my bushcraft grill inside of it. You can also fit a water bladder or something like that down in here as well if you want. It does have the space for the um, the water bladder uh, hose to come out the top. And like I said, it does. It it's huge, guys. Like this thing is massive. Okay. So as you can see, like, this thing is absolutely huge. Put that back down in there. Put my hammock right back there. All right, now let me take and close it back up real quick.
it zips up back like that. Yep. Unzip the top here. And the top lays up like that. Now as you can see, right in here, you've got the zipper pocket for a water bladder or you can put like a uh, uh, like one of those bullet things in here maybe um, to keep you from getting shot stuff like that those are all fit up in there as well plenty of room down in here still it's got the little carrier for the water bladder right there at the top I haven't got this thing completely packed out, but anyway, I say this thing is made by Martin Top. It is the 75 liter um, tactical backpack. Now it's got the spots for the Molly for attaching like a sleeping bag or a sleeping pad or like a wool blanket or something you can attach down here on the bottom as well as here on the top as well. So you got the Molly straps here so you can attach a sleeping pad, whatever, so you can carry that on top. Now I've been playing around with this backpack. I've had it now almost a month. And so far, it has taken quite a bit of abuse. Um, I've got some other items, uh, some other piece, uh, pieces of gear that are going to go on this. And uh, so I will be reviewing those at a later date. I didn't want to bring those out here just yet. But anyway, so there you go, guys. The Martin Top 75 liter Army Green Backpack. Runs about $100. It is fairly inexpensive as far as backpacks go. And it has plenty of room, plenty of space to do whatever you want it to do. It has spaces so you can add extra extra small packs to it if you wanted to. Like that one there that I've added to it. It has my uh, medical stuff in it, my EpiPen, my meds and stuff like that. It's all in there. And I took and attached that to the molly up here on top. So, anyway guys, uh, if y'all have any questions, uh, concerns, comments, anything like that, uh, let me know. Uh, put them down in the comments and I will be uh, getting around to uh, answering those. So there you go. This is the Martin Top 75 liter tactical backpack. Runs about $100. I can put the links down in the description for you guys. Um, it's a nice bit of kit, so hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, hopefully y'all can go out and buy one, and uh, y'all can use it. Maybe get quite a bit of use out of it. Maybe you're looking for a good pack to use. Well, this is the pack for you guys. This thing is very, very, very light. I don't have it completely packed out, and in the current state that it's in, it weighs probably about maybe 20 pounds if that I don't think I don't think it's quite 20 pounds in its current configuration setup the whole backpack completely empty only weighs about two pounds so if you're looking for something lightweight this is probably not for you but anyway like I said with the way I've got it packed currently it weighs roughly about 20 pounds somewhere thereabouts so it's really not heavy and it's really really good now let me uh, let me put it on real quick and I'll show you guys what it looks like on okay Alright, let me go get it put on real quick, and I'll show you what it looks like with it on.
Okay, so like I said, you got the pull tabs up here up top. So if the backpack's leaning back too far, you just grab them and pull it, and it pulls it closer to your body, gets it up on your back, and it sits really nice on your waist. It's got the really nice little waist belts. So there you go, guys. And if I need to get to my knife real quick, I just reach up here and grab it, and I can yank it out if I need to. Quick and easy way to get to it. There you go. The Martin Top 75 liter tactical backpack. And uh, so let me go ahead and get this off, and we'll go back inside and uh, get this edited up for you and that way y'all can check it out I've got a, another couple of videos that are coming so stay tuned guys we got some more um, uh, gear that we're gonna be um, looking at and talking about so stay tuned and we'll be back probably sometime either later this week or next week for another video so stay tuned Hope y'all got something out of this. Hope y'all will buy this backpack and use it. It's a great bit of kit for y'all to have. So, until next time, guys, I've been Red Fox with Red Fox Outdoors. Get out and enjoy nature. Bye, guys.